who the hell are you? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another uh, episode of Renegades React. And today, sitting on the couch with us for, I believe, the first time in a long time. I, a long time ago, you and I reacted to... Uh, a wrestling match. Yes, we did a pay per view. Oh yeah, it was a whole pay per view. Well, uh, no, it was a, that was a, like a live stream. We didn't show, we barely showed any of the video. I'm talking, uh, yeah. it was AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, and Chris Daniels oh, on yeah. TNA, their yes. five star match, and we were just like, oh my gosh! I yeah. mean, yeah, you couldn't like help but to be like, holy shit! Well, of course, dude, because <laughs> it was those three at their peak. Yeah, it was I'm... their best time. So, for anyone out there who is wondering who the hell this guy is right here. This is my good friend, Mr. Chad Bartlett. We've been friends a very long time, and he is now a new resident here in, uh, as Nick would call, the Renegade Mansion. Yep. And um, I mean, it is. Let's be real. Uh, it's big, but it's not a mansion, technically. <laughs> All us poor people see it as a mansion. Yeah, for man. real. Oh, shut the hell up. <laughs> but it's an honor and a privilege well, yeah, to be and, here and to be your friend and to have been your friend for as long as I have. Yeah, uh, well, and Chad, he's talked a long time about coming on here, taking part in the channel, being part of the channel and everything, and now that he's officially moved in, and now that he's got a little bit of free time on his hands, he's hanging out with us here for the next little bit uh, before we both have to go to bed and wake up early to yes, we do. drive down to the School of Morton and set stuff up down there, which is going to be fun. Oh, I'm going we'll to stay up fun. as late as I always do. <laughs> Damn you, Nick. Probably. <laughs> no, well, yeah, well. I'm going to be editing some videos for Nick. Yeah, so. Nick, Nick, I'm uh, currently paying Nick to edit uh, the reactions and everything, which, you know, it's, I'm glad that, I'm glad that he's, uh, that he's doing that and everything, because it takes a whole lot of, off my shoulder, and plus it gives him very valuable experience with uh, editing and everything. And plus, as uh, the, if the views and numbers keep going up, the more I will pay him. So, here's the hoping, everybody. So, um, all right. Chad, uh, seeing as how this is your first real, like, real full-on uh, Renegades React video that you've been a part of with us here, uh, we would decided to go with an old, an old uh, reliable, as we call him on here, uh, who always gives us good stuff to talk about and everything. Mister John Jafari, aka John Tron. Have you have you ever seen John Tron before? Never. Never. He's um, got a cool name though. I'm digging it already. Yeah, John is uh, John has been a staple here on YouTube for a long time. He's been up, he's been down, he's been high, he's been low. He's been on the Game Grumps. He was on, he was actually the one of the original founding members of the Game Grumps, and it was him wow. and Aaron for the first year. And then John left because he wanted to do different kinds of videos, which understandable. Right. And uh, yeah, John is effectively now. Um, on his own and is making these awesome videos and uh this is his most recent one johnny new english i have no idea what the <laughs> hell this is about but i hadn't really watched john tron either until we started reacting to him on here and i'm glad we did because he's pretty fucking funny so <laughs> thank you all enjoy him and one thing you'll learn about john in certain cases he can be pretty like pretty savage like savage he can be if he <laughs> you wants know I'm to down be. for that oh yeah so, anyway, we have the uh, video queued up here. Let's get it on screen and let's see what happens. Three, two, one, bazow. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness, I didn't see you there. On account of the reason that I can't see you. Anyways, before we get to the video, which I'm very excited for you to see, by the way, I'd just like to take a second to thank today's sponsor. Philo! With Philo, you can save tons of money by cutting traditional cable once and for all. Philo allows you to watch all your favorite TV shows in their current season from your laptop, phone, or television without that outdated cable box to tie you down. But John, I love overpaying for cable TV. By God damn it, get a hold of yourself, they've tricked you! He is why I love John. He can even turn an advertisement into something awesome. Giving away a seven-day free trial and thirty percent off the first month. Right now, I'm watching Drunk History on Comedy Central. But Drunk History is awesome. It is hilarious. So show him some love. Click the link in the description and get watching your favorite TV shows today. This is John's New England, featuring John and New England. I've come here to the historic land of New England. Some might consider it an update to Old England. But sometimes an update is less like an iPhone and more like a Windows Vista. The settlers left their homes from far and wide over 400 years ago to sculpt this vast landscape. 
And it was pretty much like back home, except with less buildings, roads, and infrastructure, and more wolves, bears, and spears chucked directly at their heads. But lucky for us, here in New Hampshire, now they have running water. And New Hampshire men and New Hampshire women have been living together in relative peace and prosperity. Unless, as this sign on the state line dictates, you're not living free, in which case they'll murder you. <laughs> so, why have I come to this there you land, go. may I ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's because I'd like to learn and master the culinary techniques of these great peoples. All the while doing it just like the settlers did all those centuries ago. By living off the fat of the land itself. But, to make a good New England clam chowder, you need a couple good New England ingredients. Step one, gathering. Clam hunting. Just living off the good graces of Mother Earth. You don't need anything but you, yourself, and, and your wits. <laughs> That's going to make a good one. Not the best shoes for that kind of terrain. <laughs> no, it isn't. Okay, I, you need some boots, John. As a redneck, like a, I've caught crawdads like, like this before. Yeah, same yeah. here, same so here. I know his struggle. She's going to go. Probably worse than most shoes, suit. like Nick said. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, Gaia. Thank you, Gaia. But how are you going to eat a meal if you can't season it? So I've come to gather salt at my local salt mine. This is like restricted. Like you can't go there. It says like no, you can't go in. I mean, it, you could have. They, they had to cover it up. Insult to injury, salt in the wound, if you will. <laughs> they the U.S. Coast Guard to guard a little salt. Newsflash, okay? We're not monsters. Just want our soup to taste a little bit. Better assholes. <laughs> I, I don't, you just live off the land, right? Like that's how the settlers did. They just live off the land, right? It's looking a bit. Uh, land's looking a bit barren. I uh, the corn or wheat or frankly whatever that was. I was hoping for you know a garden of gourds, mushrooms, cucumbers, tomatoes. But I'm getting more like a kind of a Chernobyl vibe. You know, just like the settlers before me. I'm just gonna you know make the best of it and hopefully. Rely on those for sustenance. You know, keep me through the winter. Who's it? Get that. Get that. Do you, have, do, you have, do you have the crossbow? Who's got the crossbow? We, that can be sustenance. No, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. You stay there. You stay there. No! You son of a... <laughs> I'm not... The land is being hard to live off, dude. All right? It's just... It's starting to piss me off a little. Undeterred, I followed the trail to the exotic wilds of the local Walmar. Must be Navajo. Mother Nature Must finally smiled upon me and laid forth her bounty. A bushel of crawdads, rare spices from the Orient, and the succulent ham of the sea manatee. It was time to take my it was time to take my goods home. That's a bounty! Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna get shucking. You're gonna wanna shuck right. Get those bad boys out. Uh. <laughs> And this is a strange clam boy, I will admit. But you gotta, you gotta work with what Mother Nature gives you. Sometimes you get a little reminder. God giveth, he can take it away. Or just give you a poop and a clam. Now we gotta get those bad boys in the pot. <laughs> Boiling already. Taste beautiful. He's oh not God. even got any water in there. What the fuck? We gotta get the rest of our ingredients, which I'm sure is, frankly, something. Be careful, John. You don't want to chop a finger off. That's a sharp knife. At the front end of it, he was doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's just for me, though. And now the all-important step, the clam juice, which actually exists for real. <laughs> That's a Dark Souls. It's a clam. Oh, my. They sell that. They sell that. Don't drink it. It's pure, all natural, but don't drink it. Some things you just don't do. Now you just stir that up and you let it sit. Wow. Would you look at that? Just like Mama made it. A feast for the eyes. Yeah. I call bullshit, Joe. Yeah. All right. Now while we let that sit, hey, he, he pulled an Amarillo Lagasse. I don't mind that. And that's why I've come here to Sanders Fish Market in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, to hopefully get one that's at least adequate. Here we are at the local fish market, just like the old days. Would you consider yourself a fishmonger? Yes, I would. So it's not a slur. We can still call you that. 
Scallops and shrimp are definitely up there. What's the scallop? Is that like a scallop that's said wrong? She comes in a shell. <laughs> And it is just basically just a big muscle. And it's just a clam. She's just talking yeah. about clams. Yeah. All right, he could have shortened it. Now, is this a consensual relationship between you and the fishmongers? What kind of what kind of fish is this? <laughs> Can I buy that guy? No. He's not for sale. No. Can you explain that? You got a banana in with the fish. Yeah. Well, yes. We like to mix things up here. We're a little unconventional. Liberals. Usually dead? It's already dead and you got it. Unless it's a crab, that's a different story. What do you got against crabs? People like to keep them at home. So we start by they itch. off the face, we remove the gills, and we rip out their rear. <laughs> now you don't want to get the soft shell crab treatment. It's a bad, it's a bad time to be a soft shell crab, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the season's just about over. No, I just mean in general. Is there ever a time that you don't cut the face off the soft shell crab? If they want to do it themselves at home, sure. If they're on good behavior. <laughs> they don't what? tend to be on good behavior. You just are a lady who don't like a soft shell crab. I like selling them. You also like cutting their faces and pulling their ears out. If you're looking for fresh fish and oh, fish, John. stop at Sanders in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. You heard it here first. Fish and cheese. Fish achieve. You sit tight. I should tie you over. <laughs> and we're back in the kitchen. Wow, that was funny as hell. Just drop it in a New fish England tank. Baked paddock. Breaded, buttered, and beautiful. Now I want I you. call bullshit again, guys. Yeah. So if you don't yeah. get it on your first try, don't be discouraged. All right, everyone. Here we go. Wow. Just like Mama used to make it before the accident. All right. While we let this simmer, All right. we'll go take Dark. a look around at the local history and learn something, because there's plenty of it. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing gets my appetite going like the thought of thousands upon thousands of young British soldiers killing each other over what I would consider to be petty squabbles. This is Fort McClary State Park, used in so many wars, they've pretty much lost count. Like the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the Civil War, World War I, and the Spanish-American War, which I didn't even know happened until now. Really, John? <laughs> I guess we won. Unfortunately, in 1808, they didn't yet know how to build houses, as seen by this. I mean, really, what the fuck is this shit? There's no, there's no roof in here. And it's just straight, it's just straight up ground. I wouldn't have wanted to be the rifleman, man. He had a bad gig. Nice window, though, I guess. If you want to fucking, fucking die, die of exposure. Go, 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 the British are coming. We're also the British too, which means we're coming. Oh, this is 1605. Boom, <laughs> nuclear bomb button. Destroy, bitch. Next time you try to take America, we'll come for fucking London. Fuck. Not if you don't excuse me. I've got a war of my own to start with the Chipotle burrito I had for lunch. <laughs> Too real. Victory. <laughs> this is this is literally cleaner than most Gross. bathrooms in the tri-state. I'd take a I'd, I'd take a deuce in that. Please close when done. Okay. They love compliance here in this state. Can't forget to wash those hands. I'm be cooking soon. Step three. Was it step two? Step two. Eat. Ding ding! It's ready! A feast fit for a king. Dig in, everyone! Well, hold on, actually, now that I'm looking at it from like this angle, it's all wrong. It's all wrong! I don't understand. Like, nobody from around here would eat this. Freaking settlers would have eaten this. They didn't have any food, man. I knew I should have used more clam juice, dude! I knew I should have used it! I'm a failure! In his despair, John realized there are few things unforgivable in this world. Unfortunately, a poor clam chowder is one of them. So John returned to the sea from whence he came. Join us next time as we explore the dense dunes of Borneo, the smoldering pits of Mount Vesuvius, and the bombed-out wastelands of Atlantic City, New Jersey. 
Thank you. <laughs> that was brutal. So, um, this house that we're staying in, um, I think the owner may have an obsession with like uh, dead and or wounded and or dying birds because they are everywhere. A dead bird number one, what is this, like a dead pheasant? This is yes. wild duck shooting. Okay, so I'm gonna count that as two. That's two dead or dying or wounded birds. Uh, all right, this is pheasant shooting. We got one, two, got partridge shooting. I'm just gonna count it as a, a one. That's a total of six. Floor two. We got one um, hanging upside down. I'm not sure what's wrong with him. Another sculpture, one hanging upside down. That's eight, nine, ten. Sleep well. Another one of the same variety, 11. Struggling beach narwhal, beach sperm whale, fucking, what is that, an Amazon river dolphin? What the fuck is going on in this place? <laughs> wounded snipe and the dying woodcock. This is not dead, this is not wounded, this is passing between worlds. That's woodcock, that's the one people made the meme out of with me. The wood, eh, I like that name a lot. Right. So, I, I lost count. What's the tally? <laughs> that was an experience oh yeah usually he talks about video games but he's just been doing a bunch of random stuff here recently he did one on like Japanese shoot 'em ups that has quite possibly one of the most disturbing bosses you'll ever see it's a big naked man bald naked Asian man who his one of his attacks is he turns his head sideways and kicks up really high, and you can almost see his junk. And then a hole appears at the bottom of him, and what looks like a penis comes emerging out. Turns out, no, it's just it's another man. Yeah, another dude. <laughs> and, his, and he comes up, aims at you, and shoots at you with his head and his fists. It's disturbing. And yeah, you're playing that, as that a... Uh... disturbing. A very muscly man in a speedo who has a hole on top of his head that shoots bullets out of it. Oh yeah, just flies sideways man. on the screen, spinning. These people are tripping. Well, the man who made that is <laughs> is obsessed with big muscly men. The Vince man, McMahon? Has, damn it, you stole my joke! You stole my fucking joke. <laughs> Bat Batterson. Oh. <laughs> Triple H. Triple H. Actually, Trips is Trips isn't as high on big muscly men. He actually admires decently good performers. Triple H is just a savage. That's he what is. that boils down to. He's he the is. man. I have no hate for Triple H. I don't either. I, I know there's people who have bad. You know, I I do hate him for one thing. I hate that he buried Booker T the way he well, did. I, I don't hate any of those people really. They're characters. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, yeah. Well. I just don't like the fact that he was the one that convinced Booker T that losing at WrestleMania, at WrestleMania 19, after they did the whole angle with him, like, having family problems, and this would be, like, his big redeeming thing in his life. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Triple H is just like, you know, uh, Booker, I, I want to win tonight. And he flexed his creative muscle and didn't lose. Now, in later years... He, from what I understand, he did come to apologize to Booker T and told Booker it should have been his night. Because yeah. Booker, it should have been Booker T's night. Because it is what it is, though. It, like, there's we, no changing history, yeah. unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, and speaking of history. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, that's, is, are you showing it to him? <laughs> yeah. Why, though? There's a lot to take in in that picture, just whether or not yeah. you want to. <laughs> I, trust me, me watching it, I, I wanted to, yeah, that, uh, oh, God. Yeah. Ugh. I want that to stop. Not even his final. There's form, the guy bro. coming out of the out of the hole on the bottom. <laughs> not a, not even his final form. And bro. like the face of the guy. Yeah. That's yeah. He's just like in, like pure players like ah. He's cheesing. It's very very strange. He's cheesing on that. He's achieving. <laughs> exactly. That's the face. Oh. <laughs> God have mercy. So. <laughs> Why. I don't Why? know. I really don't. I always know. try to block that game out of my memory, and then, then it's a lot to me. Somebody it's a always lot brings like it back up again. Down. You treat that game like I treat Watership Down. Mm. God, that movie messed me up <laughs> as a kid. Cute little bunny movie. That's what my mom thought. Oh, it's rated PG. There's nothing bad, except like all kinds of fucking bunnies dying in various it's bad, terrible ways. <laughs> Christ, Not good for the bunny rabbits. 
Oh, not only that, but the dog ripping it, ripping them to shreds as well. Like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a that was a noise I made. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, vocalization you just made. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I suffered a micro stroke there thinking about water chip <laughs> now. <laughs> now yeah. and now and now I can't smell citrus, and I think I might be partially colorblind. Yeah, or either that or I'm cross-eyed. Which is it? <laughs> Uh, cross eye. God dang it. Okay, so we can fix this. Hold on. There we go. He's back. Wait. <laughs> dang, still can't smell citrus. Oh well. I don't think there's any citrus to smell around here. I actually have. How some would I know? I can't smell it now. <laughs> right. I have some orange lots lifesavers. Like <laughs> they're not the color orange, but they have like the orange specks in them. Oh yeah. You want one back? I'll try one. Why not? Yeah, they're pretty good. Thank you. Well, thank you. <sighs> John Tron, though, he's a trip, man. Like, all of his stuff is just ridiculous. I can skits. smell it. Yeah. Well, he's he's really good at just Uh-oh. coming up with funny stuff. I he, can't I can't smell it. Maybe really? you had the stroke. Yeah, I guess. Damn, I guess so. Oh, well. But John is a funny guy. He's always been yeah, one. That was hilarious. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't mess, he doesn't, like, mess around with, if, if something isn't good, he doesn't. He doesn't do it. Like there's been times where he said that he's had full, like full shows done and everything, mm-hmm. and then him watching it, and realizing that it was either boring or it was too long or something like that, and he would almost completely nix it. Just he would just say, "This has to be fixed in some way. We we'll, we can come back to it and probably try and fix it later, but right now, no, this isn't this isn't good." And I've had to do that on like several react like. There's been several react. Actually, there was one we were right in the middle of, and Nick's just like, "I just don't find this funny, man. I I, I got nothing." <laughs> and I'm just like, "Well," I'm and gonna... I'm just like, "All right, cut it," and we never released yeah. it. Yeah, we dude, were about we're halfway gonna... through the video, and he was just like, "Nah." I don't think we told anybody what it was. Just to avoid don't tell, offending don't... people that uh. Yeah, just don't tell anybody. Want us wanted yeah. us to watch it. Yeah, just don't tell them about it. It's it's okay, <laughs> but. John Tron, he, he's been putting out videos a lot more consistently now because there was a time he actually went for almost a year and never released a single video. Damn. And uh, he's actually done a bunch of Star Wars games. We'll have to give those a watch. Uh, I think they call, he calls that his Starcade series because it was specifically like space-based game video games and stuff like that. Duh! You scared me, Nick. Man, Don't do the, that. The Super Star Wars games? Oh, those were the... Those were the shit back they then. They were so yeah. hard. They were. But Very they tough. were worth it. Oh, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I mean, for me as a kid, one of the more difficult games was The Lion King. Yes. And the final boss, Scar, is redonkulous. Aladdin. That was a hard one. Aladdin was a pretty difficult one. I I almost beat it a couple times, but that, that last, but, you know, the last few things, I was like, no. Nah. Friday the 13th on... On NES Regular was Nintendo. almost impossible. It was almost impossible it's to a beat. Nightmare. And I was terrified of Jason, but I really wanted to kill him mm-hmm. as a child. Of course. It wasn't happening. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, there is a way to do it. I mean, I'm sure, but not for me at five. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, and uh, another one was, um, God, what was that one game for uh, SNES? <laughs> it's gonna, it's uh, like my brain is like, is not working right now. Smack yourself again. No, no, I ain't gonna smack myself. Oh no, no, it was for NES uh, Battletoads. Battletoads was tough. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it is. Battletoads is pretty tough, and I, I, I played it, and it, it's fun, and the mechanics in it are amazing for an NES game. Yeah. But it's just holy shit. And it looks really, really good. Yes. Yes, it for for an NES game especially, and. Honestly, I I think about that and I'm like, wow, that is the same people who made Banjo Kazooie. Mm-hmm. That's the same people who made Jet Force Gemini, and uh, and and the Donkey Kong Country games. Rareware and Double O Seven Goldeneye. Yep, Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark, yeah. That yeah. Was my Perfect and Dark is still my favorite game they made. There, there's actually a game that they released not too long ago. It came out way too way too early. You know, like most games do nowadays. Yeah. And now it's actually got a lot of content in it, and I'd like to give it a shot. 
Uh, it's the uh, it's um, Sea of Thieves, hmm. uh, the yeah, pirate game. That. Yeah, the pirate game. Because there's actually a really funny mechanic that you can do in it. You can actually climb yourself into a cannon and launch yourself over to an enemy ship. Oh my god. <laughs> it's one of the and funniest made by things. Rare? Yes. Made by wow. Rare. And the online experience, from what a lot of people say, ever since they got a lot of the server issues ser- you know, sorted out, it's actually one of the more fun experiences online. Huh. Because of just how... Because of how big the world is and how random things are in wow. it. And if they would have released the game as it is right now... Easily, like, a lot of people said easily 9 out of 10 now, but when it originally released, like, a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Mm. It, it's just issues, man. You know, the small little issues that plague the that plagued some of the best games. It's like oh, right yeah. now, Days Gone is getting a lot of flack because it's got a lot of bugs in it, and the AI is... In, I actually saw a video. Uh, there were three people that were trying to hunt you down. One of them walks right up to you. One of them walked right up to the main character... And he just comes up to them, stabs him in the neck, and the other two are staring at him. And after he's done killing that one, he goes back behind hiding, and they are pretending like they're still looking for him. And I'm like, that is some of the dumbest AI I've ever seen. Yeah. And this is and this is one of the PS4's big releases. This is mm. and they're saying that what a shame. they're saying that a lot of the patch uh, a lot of the patches have fixed the bugs, but. Still, it released like that, man. And people were exposed... First impressions are the most important things when it comes to stuff like that. Now, I know there's redemption stories down the road, you know, like... uh, You know, we talked about No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky Next now is considered the game that we should have gotten. But it took two years to get there. People still have bad first impressions, and... It and it it can sometimes kill the mood of the entire thing. I mean, even when you're thinking about it, it's like, yeah, this is fun, but my first time playing this was just terrible, and that can ruin it for some people. I've got a high bar right now after playing uh, Far Cry Five and New Dawn. Yeah, because that combat good. was intense. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was. <clears throat> I really like playing through Far Cry Five. I did that. And that's oh, my first my game God. I played on stream here. Oh yeah. Uh, Love it. Well, you need to play through uh, God of War, man, because yes, the new I God still of War, haven't played it yet. I've got it on my PS4. You, yeah, we you need to do a live stream of that because cool. you'll get a kick out of it. Yeah, you will sure. love it. I've but, heard nothing but good stuff about it. It's good. It's really good. And then, of course, there's speaking uh, of Triple H. Oh yeah, because he looks just like. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't do that for his WrestleMania intro. He should have. He should, yeah. He should have had two horses on a chariot, and he should have come out with a flaming sword or or the or the Leviathan axe. Had the red the red face paint, and the rest of him painted white, and just yep. like yeah, he should have he should have gone full Ghost of Sparta. That would have been savage. Yeah, because he looked exactly like him. Although Triple H does not have the epic voice of. Uh, <laughs> does not have the epic voice of uh, of Teal'c from uh, Stargate SG-1. No, he doesn't. No, because uh, Christopher Judge uh, has one of the most epic voices. He's like, he's like, boy. <laughs> he's like, read it, boy. Listen here, boy. I don't have time for your petty games. So you're like babysitting your child while you're also slaying these monsters? Yeah, and no, well... The kid, as things go along, you actually you actually train him on things, mm-hmm. and he gets better. He becomes a better assistant for you, and he's he. Ha- and there's actually some really funny stuff in the game. Uh, there's actually one uh, like the entire time you're traveling around, he, uh, you're swapping stories with your son and everything. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, one of the characters you're traveling with. Starts off the starts off the story by saying uh, it's like late in the game. It's like our story begins in a in a tide of blood, deep as any sea out there. And then Kratos goes, "Finally, a story worth telling." <laughs> and I'm like, "Damn, dude! You heard all these other stories up until this point, and this is the one that gets your dick hard." Yeah, it's all <laughs> about the blood. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and then of course there. Uh, I wish Christopher Judge they they actually did a, a reading of Christopher Judge telling dad jokes and putting it and like syncing it up with the game to make it look like he was saying it in game. It was one of the funniest things there. He's like, I don't like stairs. They're always up to something. Oh, come on. Boy. 
What is brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> wow. This I don't is where like people are just yeah. like, no, nah, I'm done with this. <laughs> Turn this video off. The dad jokes. I don't Hell like. No. I don't like elevators. I'm going to start taking steps to avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> but hearing him read the dad jokes is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Because he's just because he starts cracking up <laughs> in the middle of it. <laughs> he's just like, I'm sorry, but these are just terrible, and I love them. <laughs> There's some killers out there, though. There are some people who tell bad jokes and just slay. They have some, like Mitch Hedberg kind of told bad oh, jokes. Oh, God, dude. Hedberg a was a nut. I you love know? Hedberg. He was a, a heroin-headed he heroin nutbag, and I loved every, yeah, he I loved every like second I got to see him. The Kurt Cobain of comedy. Except he didn't really kill, uh, well. Well, depends on how you look at it. Uh, except, well, he didn't do it with a shotgun. Instead, he... No. He overdosed. Yeah, he OD'd, so... Yeah, he was eligible for the open casket. Yeah. <laughs> open casket? Dude. I saw the... I've seen the autopsy photos of Kurt Cobain. No head left. Yeah. Well, literally. I mean, a shotgun? A stump. Yeah. A stump. That's literally all that was left. Yeah. I've never seen that, nor do I want to, but thanks for the image. I got sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, well, I saw it because, you know who pulled it up? Zach. Oh, God. Zach pulled that shit up. He was just like, Nate, Nate, come here, look at this. I'm like, what? what is that? Oh, what? And he's Bro. like, he's like, you know who that is? I'm like, how am I supposed to tell who that is? And he's like, it's Kurt Cobain. I'm like... No! Yeah. I don't want to see that. Oh. Yeah, it's and fucked up. Bro, I, I had some friends in college that that was their M.O. Just to show, to, to fucked show up you shit. fucked up shit from the internet, man. And you don't know how many times I've just been like fighting my way out of a room like, nope. Nope. You bastards are not going to make me watch this shit. <laughs> I am not involved in this. I just can't. I don't. I just am not down with like the weird. I mean. It's probably a lot more cleaned up now. I mean, I'm sure it is. If you went looking for that shit, it'd probably be harder to find. It, it is in some cases. Back in uh, the day, dude. I mean, <laughs> there were some people, dude. There were some people like asking on the some of the threads on Reddit about that synagogue shooting in uh, in New Zealand. I'm like, dude, why Come would you want to see man. that? Why would you want to see that? Crap? You know, I understand to a certain degree because like a lot of people have just been so sick and tired of falsified things going down that they just want to see evidence and like in this day and age it's kind of hard to know what to even believe about a lot of things but still yeah. man like that's I would even never want to watch that no me neither uh, I mean I've just you know I was playing the devil's advocate there I don't want to watch it no but I, I understand why some people may just be like I'm not believing shit until I see it yeah <clears> some <throat> people can stomach it some people can stomach that stuff I'm I'm not one of them. I I hell no no, that stuff to me is way too. That stuff to me is just way too much. It's of bad it. enough that I know it's a real thing. Yeah, not and seeing it is something else entirely. Absolutely. Wow, this got dark. Yeah, let's yeah. let's rescue let's, let's rescue this video. So hey yeah uh, yeah John Tron right John Tron, funny the guy. complete opposite of what we were just talking exactly, about. Exactly exactly. <laughs> Instead yeah he's it, he's he's a funny guy and talks about video games and. Shit well, like dude, that. The part of this video that I thought was like the best was when he was like reenacting the battle and yelling. <laughs> Just shit. tossing grenades at the like a fake grenade at the window. He's <laughs> like, next time we'll come to England. Yeah. It's good coming stuff. Coming for London. Yeah, we're coming for London. We're coming. It was a tragedy, this one, though. I mean, he failed miserably and just walked off into the sea. Yeah. But he made a pretty good looking clam chowder. I've seen some clam. I've seen some pretty good clam chowders, and that one was the man's got standards. Good. Still, though, he's not Gordon Ramsay. He's not. He, he shouldn't have to, to. He shouldn't have to force himself to, to, to that standard. Hey, he turned turned those clams and that rock into something beautiful. Yeah, Damn yeah. it, I'm proud of him. <laughs> I am too. Godspeed, John Tron. And thank you for the video. Yes, very much. <laughs> and if you want to see that video. And check out John Tron's channel and all the other stuff that he's got. There's a link in the description down below to the original video. Feel free to check out John's channel. He's got over, I think, 6 million subs now. Let's double check that before, uh, before I make a fool of myself. 
Five point three. Never mind. He's got five point three million. Killing still, it. still way more than me. Killing it. Jesus, still way, way more than me. Jesus would probably have a shit ton. Yeah, Jesus would have a shit ton. But you know who? But you know uh, who has a, a shit ton and surprised the hell out of me? Who? Uh, the porn star Johnny Sins. <laughs> turns out, turns out he's actually got one. It's got over a million subs now, and I'm just like, what? what? You're already like a living the dream for most guys out there. Why? And then all of a sudden, I thought to myself, now I think about it, I probably would too if I were in his shoes. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> when he's wearing any clothes at all. Yeah, and not and not and not uh, going on vacations with his like extremely attractive wife, who is you know who, it just I <laughs> I don't know, wonder, dude. Wonder how that conversation goes. How did it go? You did I when I patted you on the back on the way out the door, I just I saw that look in your eyes. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> like <God. laughs> You know. Wow. Jesus. You've got something to explain to me. You lied to me. You know, you don't have to brag to impress me. You were not that many strokes in, you know, like how do the I don't know. Yeah. The dynamics of that relationship have to be really bizarre. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want. I honestly, it's their lives. They can live it however the hell they want. It's their life. Oh yeah. But um, anyway, this was a fun video. And if you want to subscribe to us, there's a, a link below Chad's feet. Or uh... oh, don't worry, don't worry. You're oh. you're good. You're oh, good. Okay. No, you're not stepping on. It. All right, all right. So there's a link right <laughs> below their feet uh, that will uh, subscribe you to our channel, and a little bell down there that if you hit, you'll get notified every time we release a new video. And if you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to like the video, leave a like. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. <laughs> you sounded a little confused about that. <laughs> I'm Chad. I think he's sure he's Chad. <laughs> yeah. I think he's... I, do you identify as Chad right now? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Other times you are the loaded gun. Other times I just am. Yeah, you go. So, thanks again, everybody, and, and we'll see you then. Peace out.